Hey guys, Johnny Roman. Just wanted to let you know I got into an old barn that had some cars in it and some other stuff. Kind of cool and one garage sale kind of weird little thing. Ah, oh, oh, let me tell you, <laughs> there's some interesting cars found in this barn way up in the top. You ready to look at them? <laughs> I know I am. It was dark when we found them. Okay, here we go. Hey, cats and kittens. It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, you never know what you're going to find now. I was at a garage sale and I found this. Now, Soda Pop, when he was young, he had these things. These are Mighty Beans. You remember these? <laughs> so here's some cards for them. And these had like race tracks and stuff to go around. <laughs> but We've got a collection of these and if I run across something we already have a collection of I gotta get them they're kind of funny look at that just have goofy faces on them I don't know I don't think they're very collectible it was like a fad that came and went but there were some funny ones goofy <laughs> anyways Kind of cool. So there's all these beans, and they kind of wobble around. They're like, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. See, I'm telling you, just goofy stuff like that's a sheep. I know. So, anyways, we might look at those later. Maybe, maybe not. But added those to the collection. So that's good. Then I got this. This is a piece of mother airplane. Just kind of cool. Mama's boy. Now it's missing pieces and parts and I'm not quite sure what's going on with all the stuff on this. Obviously missing propellers and gearing, but I'm telling you, the Model Club guys, they could totally take this one and make something cool out of it we're gonna put it on the racetrack back over there see it <laughs> but I found this piece of paper now I love paper and cool things this is the Johnny toy maker and come on <laughs> it's Johnny mold your own cars boats trucks etc you bake these custom designs and there are million more the limit is your imagination but look at this little poster of all these cars. I just thought that was cool. And then like a thing maker, spiders and bolts. Nothing on the other side, but it's like a little poster you hang on your wall. How cool is that? Ah, uh, so I picked that up, but then as we're digging through all this, uh, <laughs> This old barn is abandoned and it's for sale. And my friend, he did a lot of work on that barn and knows the family. And the family said, if there's anything in there you want, you can have it. And he told me about it. So we went and got the Hot Wheels we could find. Look at this one. Now this one came from a garage sale in a rich area. <laughs> the son wanted to sell everything because it was collectible. <laughs> Yeah, Ford Bronco 2, now it is missing one wheel, so it is whack a lack a jack attack but it is a pretty nice piece, other than missing a wheel, and again, you, you super customizer guys, you can totally fix that. So here's the stuff that we found in this place that was kind of abandoned, there was a matchbox, uh, play set, which is, I didn't even open it. Er. 
Oh, there it is. So, oh, maybe it's glued together after many years of being stored. Now, oh, it can't be too old. Oh, look at fun stuff, a lighthouse and a and an octopi on there. Here's the little ramp that goes in there. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, these ramp things, they kind of interchange as needed. But these fold-up cases are pretty cool. Now there were pieces and parts of a little bit of everything everywhere. So... You know, some days it just isn't. You got fumbling fingers and it ain't working. Ah, oh, there we go. Almost. So, here it is. The octopus. We're missing the helicopter on there. But we have the octopus and that's kind of cool. Oh, I'm sure all the pieces are in. Makes things easier. Let me tell you to close it up. Just a quick double check, kids. Oh, then I found this. She, she's snaily. Let me tell you. You know what this is? It's a pizza pan grabber. So you grab the pizza pan out of the hot oven. That'll be good. And the Roman pizza nights. I found some Lego things. And again, these are kind of dirty and dusty. It's been sitting forever and he oh <laughs> I'm trying to turn the head and just the hair is turned oh there ah <laughs> oh, I don't know Legos always did something for me oh what is this besides whack a lack a jack attack that axle is all bent up. A little patience. It's a little no name on there, but this is better quality no name than the other ones we see. Good year on the back. Kind of nice. Oh, look at this, a Tatanka. Oh, very nice. Missing pieces and parts as usual. Got a little string for a bucket. And that was well used. Other than missing the hook or whatever little pulley system. It almost looks like this is backwards on there. I don't know. <laughs> if you guys know, that would be great. Maisto, good job on that, Maisto. Look at this. These are kind of neat. Slot cars, pretty good condition, larger scale. Now we love slot cars and usually our slot cars are a little smaller than this. It's a 164th HO scale. These are bigger, but very nice. These were all in a plastic bag. And again, this house was just barn house was just kind of abandoned and really decrepit kind of sad a lot of houses are getting abandoned in this town or this area because the new uh, politicians in place are raising the taxes and people are moving out of this state faster than others are buying a can of soda pop so these are pretty good uh, we'll add those to our slot cars kind of nice in a bag so they're protected oh, I'll close that up later here's a figure that was kind of interesting I have no idea who it is but that's okay kind of cool there's all 
sorts of cars and stuff in here. Oh, look what I found. This was a cool find and I'm thinking, oh, if you've got this, you maybe have some vintage cars. Now we didn't find, we found a wide variety. Someone was just telling me I needed to get one of these. Now it is missing the little flag that would go to either side. Missing some parts, but it's a start, you know. <laughs> and then I found another starting gate, which is great. So now if we want to do double, quadruple, side by side, maybe when Trixie is out here helping me, we could uh, actually have two races going at the same time. Oh, look at this. NASCAR. NHRA. Rod Association, Hot Rod Association, kind of cool, very lightweight, got some grime and stuff on it, look at this police bus, oh, county transport, police, now this is a newer one, so you've got kind of a mix of things in this find, it, You've got some new and some old. And let me tell you, I've got a video to show you. Look at this thing. Who does this? Made in China. This is off the Hot Wheels. Remember when Hot Wheels did something like this? Tail draggers or whatever they were? This is the, the cheap knockoff, which is kind of funny looking. Very lightweight plastic. We got Clifford the Red Dog for all our young folk. Elliot and Maisie, Jack, Liam. Oh, look at that. It's kind of fun. Always got to love Clifford. Then there was this thing. Kind of like a space thing. That was kind of cool. These turn all around. But again, something weird. Like, you know, I like something a little weird. Found a ball. Or giant marble or uh-oh could be diamond ring in here or something ooh ooh it's like lip balm or something uh, and I touched it <laughs> gross hang on I'll be right back Poured out a little bit more stuff. City services. Street sweeping. Maisto. Nice job. Here's some Lego pieces. Legs or something. Again, sometimes I just pick up Lego pieces and parts. Here's the police helicopter. Kind of cool. Plastic, lightweight, and busted. Legos. I'm going to have to get a Lego box or something. Hang on. Oh, so we got more Lego stuff. And a guy. Kind of funny looking. I know. Sometimes the figures are... Uh, Hilarious. This almost looks like a bionicle type of thing. Lego. Tatanka. This one's pretty sweet. Is this a Maisto? Hasbro. Uh oh. Made for Mick and D. Oh, <laughs> when did Tonka go? Partner up with Mickey D. Who would have thought that? Here's a Lego motorcycle. Kind of cool. 
Here's a little no name. A little crusty on that. Ah, oh, again, sitting in a barn. You never know what you're going to find. Here's the base for something. <laughs> little cheap no name. Maybe we'll find the rest of it. Now, I did find a couple Tootsie toys, which are pretty sweet. Wheels are kind of old, but the paint on them, I don't know if that's a home paint job or not. I love Tootsie Toys. Very cool stuff. Look at this Spider-Man. Reminds me of the Farbs. Got a decal on there. Again, kind of crusty because it's kind of out in the weather and stuff. Oh, look at this old Tootsie toy. Kind of decrepit a little bit. More Lego pieces. It's okay. Volkswagen Beetle. Looks like it went through a mudden. Maisto. Looks like a lot of Maisto in this. Look at this nice Jeep for the beach. Matchbox. Jeep 4x4, that's all it says. Then they got a little tank. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's busted. Busted, disgusted, ages can't be trusted. <laughs> Remember that song? Oh, look at that. Kind of wild. Little cheap plastic thing. That's okay. We'll kind of try and make some room here. There's a little police squad. Again, I'm no super fan. B, you're going wash those things. Wash them. You never know. Maybe today. Oh, here's a prize stands for the Olympics pretty cool got this piece found this for the crane set oh the crusher car set I saw that in there but I didn't he left that behind master power master <laughs> little no name oh here's a cheerio petty car pretty nice this was a Cheerios giveaway I think or I could be wrong oh look at this Dodge Viper got a little schmutz on there I'll play him in the sand or something rusty sitting next to it oh look at this police SWAT now see again you've got Tootsie Toys mixed up with these which are newer so it's just pretty crazy matchbox from 2000 so it's almost 20 years old look at this little mini cooper now the only mini coopers i found was um <laughs> it had to look like it's sitting in good maisto nice job we're keychains so oh look at this cat tractor that is pretty cool side mirrors are a little busted on there Mattel, 1998, China. It's a pretty sweet tractor. I'm telling you, that farm equipment, so much fun. Oh, I found this swordfish. I've never seen a swordfish before. I've seen the sharks, but not a swordfish. That was kind of fun to find. Here's another. Uh, Lego motorcycle pretty cool here's a motorcycle helmet always wear your helmets kids you don't want a traumatic brain injury there's a Lego guy kind of cool 
It's a car. A little no name. But it, again, it's heavier weight than the no names that they make now. Oh, look at this. Oh, is it a soul? Maisto? Sion. Obviously, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> oh. Here's another Pixar car we found. Now, we've seen one of these recently, too. Not this dirty, but... Yeah, so... Chevrolet Impala. This was one of the original series because they... They did not put the name of the cars on it anymore. There's another little no name, little junker. Uh oh, Maisto, sorry. <laughs> Jeep Wrangler. Kind of nice though. Very lightweight. Very lightweight. Oh, what is this? Oh, we've seen this one before. One of those kind of youngster. <clears throat> Manapa Soto. Mano Posto. <laughs> I don't know. Kids, stay in school. It's a good thing. Oh, look at this. Now, this is like a lightweight plastic truck. It's missing its wheels. But again, if you're doing a diorama or, you know, want to custom paint, it's pretty cool casting. Very lightweight plastic thingy-me-bobber. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. Little trailer. Missing a wheel, of course, but looks like you could probably take it off, cast the other wheel. You're missing a gate on the back. I love a good trailer. pieces of gooky things oh here's Lilo kind of fun I like him oh what is this it is the stone of Zanzibar doody 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 oh here's an antenna I don't know, laser gun, liposuction, who knows what that is. This looks for a, like a playset, so we'll put that with the playset pieces. Got a little sneaky snake and a visor for, uh, yep, Legos. Oh, we're going to pour some more cars out here, just so I can see them. Oh, look at this, Pterodactyl for Lego, kind of fun. Oh, look at this, Mickey D. <laughs> look how trash that car is. These are all really trashed. Here's a little cheap dollar store Air Force. Very cool, missing the propeller though. Hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Oh, this one's pretty sweet. Nice little truck. Oh, we're going to set up some racing. Maisto. A lot of Maisto on this one. Oh, I was thinking this one. When I saw this, the co-worker and his zombie diorama. This might be perfect just as is with slime and goo in there already. Says Damer Chrysler Corporation. Chrysler 300 E 1959. All oh, those wheels from 2000. Kind of cool for him. I'll drop it off at his desk and see what it is. And oh my gosh, we got like vines in that 
Oh, look at this. This is a red line. Oh, oh, nice. It is totally trashed. A Mustang. Custom Mustang. Oh, I hope there's more of these in there. 1967. That is cool. Oh, I didn't realize that there was a red line in there. Those red lines are really light. This is the hood open version. Oh, you scrub this one. <laughs> That's going to be missing everything. Here's another uh, Lego helmet with a scary skull on top. Oh, scary kids. Oh, look at this. Little cheap no-name. Police. Another no-name. <laughs> Flat profile. <laughs> that cracks me up. Some of these no-names are just hilarious. Oh, champion. This looks like another no-name. Just says made in China on the bottom. You got a mix of everything. Look at this police bomb squad. Pretty cool matchbox. Armored car. Whoa, one red line. We got a lot to go, too. Oh, look at this one. This one's a Hot Wheels front end loader with the loader on it, which is fantastic. Wheel loader. Nineteen ninety nine or eighty nine? I can't. Seventy nine. Whoa. But that might be just the date. The wheels seem to be pretty. Ah, they're whack. <laughs> Ever so hopeful. Oh, we're getting a bunch of cars in here. Look at this. Corvette. I was gonna say Maisto and it looks like it. Yeah, Maisto on there. Pretty sweet. Oh, look at this. Charger Challenger something. <laughs> Second rendition on there. Chrysler Dodge Challenger. That is pretty sweet. That's in pretty good condition compared to everything else we've seen around here. Oh, all sorts of DNA on this stuff. It's kind of gross. Oh, look at this. Little Hummer Lowrider, it almost looks like. Maisto, nice job. <clears throat> oh, look at, found this little skateboard. Lego. Then I found this little car, kind of cool, tiny. The ones that had the ball in the bottom, remember that? But this ball is rusted, disgusted, ages can't be trusted. So, oh, look at this Jeep. Got the windshield intact. This one looks pretty complete. It might have had a roof on it. It's missing. Maisto. Man. A lot of mace though. Oh, here's the Daphne. Or Velma. No, Daphne. Yep, Daphne. Scooby-Doo car. Mustang. Again, just really corroded up and all sorts of goobers and stuff on there. Yeah, those wheels are not rolling. Oh, Here's another Hummer, but it is like total no-name. This is like the ones they fill with candy. <laughs> Do that. Oh boy, oh boy. We're running out of room here. We got a rocket. 
So the Lego box. Oh, we got this thing. Which I thought was funny. I know it's. Oh, it's got a battery. Does it say anything? Here's the switch for the. It says something. So added to our things to watch race. Another little cheapy, cheapy plastic rip off of those ball cars that would roll with the ball. It's a heavy ball, and then the rest is cheap plastic, but still kind of cool. Oh, I found this thing. It might be a wheel, it might be a booger. I don't know. Kids. Use Kleenex. Don't be picking your nose and flinging it and stuff. That is gross. Even Trixie will tell you that. Oh, look at this. Motorcycle. The Hot Wheels. I can't tell, but kind of cool. Head doesn't turn. He's just looking over his shoulder like, I'm passing you, sucker. See a sucker suit, boy? Oh, look at this. Another Mustang. They, they got Hummers and Mustangs, which is kind of cool. Hot Wheels, 65 Mustang. Almost looks like an Eleanor. Painted silver. It's not the right gray silver color, but that's okay. Still cool. Here's another Tootsie toy. Again, you know, it's like you have this mix of new and old that is just really interesting. Ford GT. So cool. Oh, let me rearrange. It's getting tight in here. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. I'll be right back. There we go. We kind of lined up all these over here. And some over here. Cool ones in front. Okay, ready? Let's see what else is in this box here. We can dump out a little bit more. Oh, man. It is crazy. <laughs> stuff. So here's another caveman kind of dude. Kind of funny. Little figures are funny. No name, formula, racer, big dog hair on it. Alfa Romeo, Brabham. Kind of neat. Little no name. Oh, with a tiger on it. Look at this, the fire chief in town, big huge monster, oh open, it says open, looking for a button or something, oh maybe that's a button. I bet those lights lit up and stuff. Kind of cool. Large, large scale. Large, large scale. Oh, look at this. Optimus Prime. Kind of cool. Again, cool truck. Missing the trailer. I don't think this does anything other than that. That's okay. Oh, look at this. Kind of nice. I think it's a matchbox. Nope, no name. Oh, kind of cool though with the zebra print on it. Got a couple little, there's a little head and a Devo hat for him for Legos. Here's a little set of wheels and axles for these tiny cars. Look at this. Kind of nice little helicopter. 
Oh, that's one piece and a big hair on it. It's like a forensic file. Frenzy. Kind of neat. Matchbox. 2001. Rescue helicopter. See that? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Oh, look at this. Tootsie toy. Love these Tootsie toys. Very nice. Simple. Cool. Another Tootsie toy. Little Roadster. Oh, there's hairs everywhere. <laughs> Gross. But, like I said, beggars can't be choosers. A little Lego piece. I'm gonna put that in our Lego box. Another Lego piece. Gonna put that in our Lego box. Look at this. Kind of neat. Hot Wheels. Shadow. From 1999 on the base. But, as you know, that could be any time or place. Here's some more Lego pieces. Kind of cool. Oh, look at this one. It's a 30, 30 Mercedes, I think. Pretty good condition. I love these Tootsie Toys. I know some people can't stand them. Here's another Lego piece. Another Lego thingy. Trying to pick out all the dust balls and hairs and things. Look at this Jeep. Kind of wild. little playful toy-like. Bust it up. It says something on there. 1987. Buddy L. Whoa, who knew that was a Buddy L? That's a big name in toy history. Oh, look, we got Scooby. <laughs> kind of funny. Put him over with our figures. King Crunch. Monster truck base. Now this one is just the top. We don't have a bottom on it, and that's okay. Here's <laughs> this Ford or pickup truck missing the back wheels. Oh, I just busted it. Ah, oh, kids, be careful <laughs> on these cheap plastic ones. You never know what's gonna happen. But a little dab of glue will do ya. You know? Oh, look at this Formula Racer. Front wheels are in a permanent right turn. Maisto. Oh, yeah, those babies are stuck. So, you got a lot of Hummers in this. A lot of Mustang security. And a lot of Formula One racers. So, that's the. The gist of this guy's collection. Oh, look at this little duder. A little crusty on there. Another no name. Parents, don't buy your kids these no names. <laughs> your kids will not play with them. Guaranteed. Oh, here's a little uh, Iron Man Lego guy. Kind of cool. Here's a little remote control car. I didn't even realize that was in there, missing all the wheels. I don't know much about these things, but I'm sure someone out there does. Again, you never know when you get a big pile of cars what's going to be in them. This one's kind of fun. Yeah, I was going to say Maisto on that. Nice. Copper. Highway Patrol. This might be a matchbox. Yep, matchbox. 
2006 Ford Crown Victoria from 2009. <laughs> yeah. Woo, doggy. Porsche. No name. Kind of nice. Here's a, a 1977 base, Hot Wheels. Doesn't mean it's from 1977. Oh, look at that. In Brainzition. Brainzition. Kind of freaky. I like it. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Something about brain, something or other, and they made up some word. And oh, there's all sorts of gross stuff in this. But we did find one red line, so that is pretty cool. Oh, look at this, Nisto. Looks like a Cadillac. Yep, 2003 Cadillac. 16 concept. Could be. Maybe. Oh, we got some Lego pieces and Bionicles, maybe. Got a bunch of little Lego pieces I'm going to just throw in there. pull those all out I know you can get a good look at all those other cars up there here it is an arm from a cow or something oh maybe it's for this guy like you can pull this arm off and Yeah, it almost looks like that. Oh, look. There's a... Pretty neat. Again, you never know. So here's his buzzsaw arm. In case you want him to have a buzzsaw arm. So here's a U.S. Army hood for a Jeep. Here is a, for those cheap plastic ones, a roof. Here is a paint gun of some sort or a space gun. I have no idea what that goes to. Here's another one of those little plastic cars. Kind of nice. The, uh, most of these are not rollers or, I mean, <laughs> literally they're seized up and that one's kind of cool, missing its wheels. Got a nice little car body. Oh, Skylander Giant sticker. Interesting. Here's a leak, cheap little Pixar. Made for Kellogg's. I know you're thinking made for Mickey D's, but it's not. Here's a pair of goggles for a Lego person. We'll put that in our Lego box. Here's another. Look at that. That's a pretty good condition. Again, parents would buy these. These were like the cheap garbage cars as a kid, as kids. But oh, look at this. <laughs> That's a cute little figure. I'm digging that. Kind of fun. But they buy these cheap cars and no one would play with them. And I'm like, those were my first cars. But once Hot Wheels came out, you're done. That's all you wanted was Hot Wheels or Matchbox. You know, you didn't want these cheap Tootsie toys. But I love them now. Look at this thing. That's a weird little plastic dude. Almost down to the base. Oh, look, fire engine. 
and the oh, it looked like it hit the bridge or something. That is all busted up. Matchbox. Whack-a-lack on those tires. Microcharger. It's like a styrofoam cardboard thing. Interesting. we got in this box. Oh, there's some fun little stuff in here. But then you also got the remnants of whatever, bugs and who knows what. Broken axles and all sorts of things like that. Now I found the that thing that I thought was a booger <laughs> on the wheel of for this axle, so might have to go find that. Oh, and then here, look, here's that cheap little plastic car, and I think this is the bonnet for it. So again, when you're looking through and you find a piece of a system or something look for the rest of it because chances are it's in there oh <laughs> look at that whack <laughs> oh my oh my <laughs> just, just so wrong and bent <laughs> oh look at this one this one's pretty good like a new jeepster Nisto has a dot com on it. So again, it's who knows how old this stuff is. Here's another motorcycle, kind of cool. Rever, you hear that? But I didn't see a name on it. Oh my, this one's got a scarf on it or something. Oh, that's definitely tight on there tight. Here's another one of those funny little knockoff cars. Larger scale. Look at this cement truck, kind of cool. See what else? Oh, these cheap plastic bolts. Always liked them. When I was a kid, I'd always sail a little log down the stream on the side of the road. Oh, here's a Pixar Hudson. That baby is seized up. And then last but not least least look at this sesame street in the house this is ernie right and he's definitely driving something but i don't know i didn't see anything in here but that is cool he's driving a go-kart or something so there it is <laughs> oh pretty cool literally a barn find and let me tell you, on the way to a barn find, I stopped at a garage sale and met a guy named Pete. Wait till I show you what he gave us. I'm going to try and race some of these. Super Fan B, this one's for you. I hope you're watching. Hang on. Oh, look at all these cool cars. I'm digging these Tootsie, a red line, a oh, little dinosaur guy. Now this, I think, is an MR2, right? Toyota MR2, kind of sweet, made into a police car. Oh, Soda Pop's roommate just bought a first generation one of those. Very cool, he's fixing it up to drift. <laughs> oh, look at all these cool cars and accessories. 
Now these guys are trashed over and Super Fan B, you just might get your wish today. Ho -ho! Let's set up for racing. I'll be right back. Hey guys, Johnny Roman, and I just want to say that Super B fan asked me to do something, so I think I'm gonna do it for him. Hang on, so we got the racetrack set up, and we got some cars that are a little bit dirty. Okay, <laughs> and he didn't like the loop de loop, and he didn't like the straight track, so we're gonna do a little jump in here. Ready? Set, go! Oh, into the drink! He wants to wash the cars! So I think we're gonna see if we can wash the cars for him. <laughs> Let's see how they go. This is a, gonna be a Dan Ryan Expressway. Oh! <laughs> We're jumping over all sorts of things today. Oh, right into the drink. Look at that. And then we can wash them up. Here goes Velma or Daphne, I mean. Oh, she crashed. Oh, right into the supper club's swimming pool for cars. Oh, let's try this Mini Koopa. Oh, right in. There they are, sinking to the bottom. And they're going to get scrubbed down. Yes, these guys are just, look at how dirty this Mickey D car is. And we're ready for the race. Ah, oh, Mickey D didn't quite make it in. Let's try it again. Oh, just falling short. Let's see if this one will work. No. So, in he goes. Oh, what else do we got here? Oh, we got this Eleanor Mustang. Oh, <laughs> this guy stopped right on top. Oh, let's try him again. Wheels aren't working so good. Oh, he went sailing. Look at this fire truck. It's all dirty, grimy. And Super Fan B says, wash your cars. So we're going to be washing our cars. Ah, oh, he didn't do good. So we'll just drop them in. Oh, let's see what else we got. How about this Jeepster? Little wide. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, this copper car. We might lose the decals on the side. Oh, he almost made it all the way over. Here's a little no name, all musty dusty. Oh, right in the drink. Look at that. Here we are. This guy's pretty clean, but uh, he could use a polishing and washing. Oh, <laughs> we got our boat sailing in there. Oh, here's Spider-Man. Let's see if the Spider-Man can. Nope, he can't. So we'll help him in. Oh, our cars are all doing good. Here's the Sheriff's bus. Oh, he went sailing. Here's our Jeepster. Oh, nice. Oh, here's uh, Nisto. Oh, right in the drink. No one's landed on the boat yet. Oh, 
Oh, this Corvette might land on the boat. Let's see. Oh, he fell a little short. Let's try him on the other track, see if that helps. Oh, he just flipped in just in time. Oh, let's try this MR2. See if we can get him rolling in. Oh, just barely. Oh, look at these two guys. They might race in good. Jeepster against Hummer. Oh. <laughs> this guy's like, I don't want to get wet. Oh, you do. Oh, let's try this. He's too wide, but... Oh, oh this guy. Vintage old stuff. Hot Wheels. Oh, he got frayed right at the end, but look! And he goes! Oh, here's that Scion thing. Oh! <laughs> he hit the lip and... Let's try this other one. It's at a little higher angle. There we go. Look at this, Super Fan B. We're washing our cars today. Now, these little no-names, we're just going to... I don't think they're even going to race, but we'll give them a shot. Oh. <laughs> we're going to have to help them into the drink. Here's another Hummer. Nice. And a little no name. Oh, ejected. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Oh, he skipped in like a rock. Oh, we got him washing. Kids, I don't know about you, I've never really washed my cars before. Oh, so, here we got a suggestion to wash our cars. This guy's missing a wheel. Oh, <laughs> he's a goner. Oh, I don't think that, that'll roll. Oh, what about our original red line going into the drink? Washing him off, he's pretty crusty. On top. Oh, that is crazy. We got these two guys. They'll probably race pretty nice. See if we can get them in there. Oh, no go. Too slow. Let's try them again, just in case. Oh, so. We gotta just move this tank up a little bit and move these ramps up a little bit so they're a little higher angle. Let's see if that helps with these slow go guys. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, is this what you meant by washing the cars? I don't know, I am i don't always think straight. <laughs> Skipped up the boat and we are going in. Oh, I don't think I don't think that'll roll. Pretty light weight. It might. Let's see. Stickers are not good for water. Yeah, he didn't go in. This guy, maybe. Let's see. Nope. He can't even get down the incline. Oh, this guy, he'll go in. He'll go swimming, maybe over. Oh, nice. This guy's too big for the track. These wheels are whack a lack a jack. But this guy might work. Let's try him. Oh, no. But look. Right in the drink. I think that's all the cars we can wash. I don't think these, oh no, this guy. Let's see how he goes. 
Whoa! He almost went all the way over. Oh, so here you go. These are all our leftovers from our dirty barn find, but now we're cleaning them. I'll be right back. Oh, look what was hiding out with some whack a lack of jack tires on there. Oh, vintage hot rod, hot wheel. Oh, he's like, I ain't going in there. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, I think that's it for these guys. So we'll line up all the rest of these guys, and I'll be back, and we will scrub these down. So what did you think of the new jumpers? Now I'm getting the toothbrush out here. Get rid of the wrapper. <laughs> We're just gonna take out a car that's all full of suds and stuff. Now remember, kids, do not mix water and electricity. And all you do is scrub these babies up and rinse them off. Oh, that should be good. Hang on. Now, always, you want to always get old stuff. Don't you? You can use a brand new toothbrush or use your old one after you washed it off so you get all your, you know, macaroni and cheese, peanut butter and jelly crumbs out of your toothbrush. And just wash that baby up. Look, isn't that beauty? Let's take a scrub on this ridge red line. Uh, it, paint was all crusty on this, but now we've got soapy water. You might need a hair dryer or something to wash these or blow dry these so they don't rust up because they will rust. Oh, look at that. How's that for beauty? Just clean as a new spleen, right? Yeah. How is that, Super Fan B? Is that what you wanted to see, Scrubby Dubby Dubby? In the Johnny Roman Tubby? <laughs> the toy car case tub? The supper tub? <laughs> Saul, you are too funny, my friend. Oh, this this one had some little brown residue on it. And look, with a little scrubbing, soap and water, a couple dippy dippy. And look, you can get this, all that brown gook out. But now you got a super soaked wet car. Now, using the brush, hopefully you'll get in all the cracks and crevices. But look how much more beautiful that is. Clean and semi-sanitized. Because you're using same water that all this gooky gook stuff got in on. So, look at that. That is like crazy. We did uh, get some of the crime off, which is nice. Oh, look at that. Now, it's a super hot day today. I think I might just leave these guys out in the sun for a little bit to dry off. But this will get any dirt and grime. Now, Hot Wheels and Matchbox, they do make uh, car washes that you could actually run your car through with little washing, scrubbing bubbles and stuff. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, kids, you could take care of your cars, too. The trick is ask your mom and dad, even some of you... Married guys, ask your wife which towel to use because you know if you use the wrong towel, you're in the dog house. Or the wrong utensil or pot or pan and it's like I'm just washing a car, really, get over it. But 
you know what? You never know if they had their special pain that Grandma gave them and they, you know, it, you can't wash any dirt out of it because they're, you know, it's just the grossest dirt in the world. So always ask what you want to use. Now, don't be using your brother's and sister's toothbrushes to clean off your dirty cars and then give it back to them because that's not nice. Don't do that. Oh, look at this guy. Let's try and shake the water off. Now, do not get the water near any electrical outlets or anything plug-in or because you will get the shock of your life and you'll have curly hair or even die. So don't even mess with getting any water near electrical stuff. Okay? Big warning. Warning, Will Robinson. Warning. Oh, now look. Doesn't this look just Jim Dandy? Oh. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Now, Superfan B, since I wash my cars for you, I ask you to go out and get about 10 or 15 of your friends that are car lovers to subscribe to the old supper club and start watching some videos. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm guessing you guys just watch the latest video and you really don't look through all the old ones. We've got tons of cars that we've been setting up for you guys. Let me see if I can get this down a little bit and change angles of hair. Get this supper club in the back. Get this, get our logo in the back here so when someone steals this beautiful car washing video and puts it on their own site you guys will know it's from the supper club oh look at this one with the whack a lack of jack attack tires oh just scrub up the bottom with mr. toothbrush it's not just for teeth and when the if you don't take care of your teeth, guess what? They all fall out, and the cool thing is, then you got a freed up toothbrush that you won't need, so you could clean your cars. You won't have any teeth, everything you're gonna have to drink, you know, no chewing, because you have no teeth to chew things up, but that's okay. Seriously, kids, take care of your teeth. I know they fall out when you're a kid and then you know the tooth fairy comes and does its fairy things and oh look at that scrub up that engine oh look at that that is just like spanking spanking new like it just came out of the <laughs> look at those wheels those are whack look it's just like it came out of the package oh look at this guy they some of these cars hold a lot of water he's pretty dirty and just a little the soap that's in there now some of this paint is chippy dippy and you might scrub it off and that's just the price you gotta pay for washing your cars and scrubbing them now most of the cars I get are dirty already and kind of gross you know they've been sitting somewhere for a long time people have forgotten about them and I'm just trying to save them so that's good a little rinse oh look how shiny those are oh here's our mr. Corvette Clark Kent he's a Corvette guy the Superman oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's got some little yellow paint on the toothbrush from the last one. Let's get that off. We'll wash off our toothbrush. Get all the excess off. Oh, what about these Tootsie Toys? Now look, it's grimy slimy on the side. Now this is all metal and let me tell you, this baby will rust. So... You can scrub it, but you want to make sure it gets dried pretty quick. 
sometimes it's like corroded in there and that's okay it is what it is guys when you find them so you have a choice of keeping them original or make them extra crispy I mean make them refurbished I always thinking about fried chicken you know oh so I don't know if that did any help or not maybe a little bit took off some of the paint but hey cost of doing business right oh uh, talked to soda pop last night uh, he's doing good out in Arizona if you see him out in Arizona tell him hey he's riding his bike to school they can tell he's not from the area but that's cool he found a good church to go to and they're being cool to him and getting them involved he really only knows like two people out there and they're busy too so oh, look at all these cool cars we get to clean oh shaking out all the water you know the drippy dippy dippy drippy and then we just scrub that oh is this exciting for you super fan b these are all washed now who else washes their cars just wondering do you spend the time if you get are you a germaphobe like howie mandel might be and that's a-ok -okay. or there's like people that are farmers that literally they they'll eat dirt they'll eat a biscuit that fell in a fell in a cow pie they don't care They've seen it all, done it all. I mean, farmers are tough dudes. Oh, these are, look at how shiny. Oh, look at this Volkswagen. Now, I think this had a little crusted dusty on the side. But, Super Fan B, with a simple little suggestion, about 50 times, for me to wash my cars. And look. I'm washing the cars now I'm hoping we get a little more views than 147 views on the last couple videos and I think I'm gonna overload the videos this weekend and then over the next couple days you know why because I got the next couple days off so that gives me time to do some stuff oh look at that just scrub this right up who knows the Rubber Ducky song? Dano, I bet you do. Saul, you know the Rubby, Rubber Ducky song? Rubber Ducky, you're the one. You make bad times so much fun. Elliot, you've got to know the Rubber Ducky song. Rubber Ducky, you're my very best friend. It's true. Oh, boopy dope. Every day when I make my way to the tubby right Elliot you know the song Maisie do you know the song you should have your dad or mom look it up online and you can learn the rubber ducky song from Sesame Street I think it was Bert look at that oh, so clean oh here's a Fireman Food 1988 car. Look at that old Porsche. Just shined up like there's no tomorrow. Oh. Look at that. Woo! Doggy! Jed Clampett would say. Oh, now let's see how this one works. Here's our little Mini Cooper. It's got a big stain on the roof. Let's see if Mr. Stain comes off. Oh, look. Mr. Stain is coming off with a little scrub-a-dubby. Oh. I'm telling you, I met this guy named Pete. The coolest guy in town. Next town over from me, Gave me a bunch of Johnny Lightnings and Hot Wheel cars. 
to show you guys. I hope you guys really like him. Now he's one cool dude and I am gonna literally, he said I could keep him for the supper club, but I am not. I am going to film these. They're all carded cars. Johnny Lightning, some cool stuff. But I'm gonna give them back to him because he was just so kind. He's got a collection that makes mine look like a drop in the bucket. Get the hint. So this is Johnny Roman's supper tub. <laughs> Saw, you cracked me up, dude. You're so funny. Okay, the roof is not like 100%, and I'm sure I could make get it if I scrubbed it a little longer. Oh, look at that. Oh, when you get a barn find, and let me tell you, this was a true barn find. It was stuff in the barn way up in the upper attic and let me tell you it was dark we had flashlights and it was hot as all get out but oh my old farmer friend that is friends with the family said we could go in there and they were gonna probably toss and throw away pretty much everything so all these cars got saved from the wrecking ball which is good Oh, look at this one. Oh, look. Just brush this away. Holy smokes. Now, some of these actually made a nice transition from goobered up to very nice. Just cleaning some of the dirt off. Now, this, this whoever had all these cars, they were Mustang, Jeep, Hummer and Formula race car people. So now I'm hoping some of you guys are watching close to see if any the tampo or decals or anything just get soaked off of these because we are just trying to quickly clean through all these. Oh, this one had some now it's mostly plastic but you know look at that ring around there maybe we can get that ring cleaned up a little bit or maybe it's rusty rusty water and sometimes the plastic will totally take on the rust because it's porous so it gets down in the pores of the rust or the plastic so you really can't clean it that well, but you can get just the surface dirt off. Okay, is that good, Super Fan B? Oh, I hope this isn't getting all over my camera lens. <laughs> Scrubbing so close. Oh, this has dirt and grime on it little brown spots and stuff so hopefully we can get most of those out some of it's coming not a hundred percent but better oh look at that I just trying to get the dirt off and I peeled the paint like it's no tomorrow so this is very fragile paint job on this looks like whatever grease and grime got under it oh that's too bad kind of like this one kind of cool and different It's an MR2, right? Kind of cool. Toyota. And a police car. Oh boy. <laughs> We're going to have to kind of move this down and our towel is wet as all get out. That's okay.
Now all our cars have been washed. Now all the chrome came off this back tire. Which is black. Shout out to Saul, thanks. Mr. Dave, Miss Kim, thanks. Maisie, cool kid. She Snaily, Dano. Oh, there's so many cool people out there. Bill, I appreciate all the comments and joining in and watching and stuff. Holy smokes. Once you get me started, now I gotta finish them all. Might take a little bit to scrub these babies down. Nice Jeep here, Maisto Jeep. Look at that. Pretty sweet. And now it's clean. And wash the suds off it. Our water's getting a little dirty, so. Whoa! Fumble of Finger Freddy. So you know that there was dirt on these things, but <laughs> please watch a video, you can see the dirt. Oh. Tomcat, I hope you're doing okay. I haven't heard from you in a long time. Rock on, my friend. I hope you are finding some good things, getting some good rest, doing some good things. have to chase you down see what you're doing what you're up to see if I can contact you I know you're doing some medical stuff but uh, you kind of dropped off the face so I just hope you're a okay oh look at that super fan B are you happy is this good? Do you wash your cars? And how do you wash them? Do you have them jump into a tub of soapy hot water? <laughs> or do you do it probably a better way? <laughs> oh, sorry. I just had to do it. You said you didn't like the jumps. You didn't like the crashes into the wall. You didn't like it when it fell off the track. So, and you didn't like them dirty. So here you go. Get everything all in one. Side by side racing into some soft water. Now these are all not the best condition cars. I'm saving them. These aren't like mint condition, you know, old little Theodore took really good care of its cars and stored them away for 50 years and they're mint perfect. These are junked up, played with, well loved toy cars that kids look at that cleaned up pretty good little little grime and goobers on the back there but like I said what are you gonna do but wash it you can detail these all out super nice oh, there you go Got our boat float. Oh. <laughs> Suds these babies up. 614 County Transport Police Bus. Get that all going so they can take people down to Pontiac. Now this one might be interesting. This was the Cheerios, I think, or Corn Flakes, but it was kind of dirty, and I don't know if it's going to clean up or not. It seems to be cleaning up okay. I didn't know if the eyes were going to come off. These are, this is a really um, simple little blown uh, toy car, all plastic. But you can see the fading 
from either sitting in something or being next to something where the plastic kind of took took in whatever it was sitting next to. But they cleaned up a little bit. Oh, here's uh, Daphne. And this one was kind of gunked up, so... Yeah, it helps when the name is on the side of the car for me, as you know. I'm always calling her Velma. That seemed to clean up pretty good. There's a little grime on it and stuff, and maybe clean out the inside a little bit. But yeah, these were really nasty because, like I said, they were sitting in a barn for a long time. It's still a little crusty on that grill, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm going to set these out in the sun and let them clean up or dry out a little bit. So, again, you never know where your cars are coming from and, you know, what has been done. So, cleaning them isn't the worst idea. It does take a lot of time, as you can see, to get everything done. Try and get all the dirt and grime off and get the goobers out of the middle of them. All the spiders and spider mites, whatever might be in there. Turned out pretty good. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this fire truck. Oh, it's still dripping like my nose in winter. Oh, so here's all brown on the side. So let's see if we can get any of that off without taking the tampo off. Because you just never know. water is kind of like your soda pop after you let the ice melt in it and you know there's a little bit left in the bottom it's just kind of a muddy color but it seems to be coming off so that's good like I said these were sitting kind of in weather not climate controlled you know, with all sorts of stuff around and they weren't in the best condition, but they're still cars and we saved them. Would have been cool if we found some more of those red lines, but hey, that's okay. Very grateful to just find one, even though it's, you know, pretty bad condition, it's still cool. Yeah, a little of the brown came off, but it's still there. Some of the paint's coming off now. You can see the paint is getting damaged. I guess my toothbrush is a little too hard. Here's the good side. Here's the other side. You can see where the <laughs> paint came off. Now again, you, when you're dealing with old stuff, you got to decide if it's worth trying to wash or just leave. Oh, that one you could use as blowing bubbles with those holes in that car. This one's kind of cool. I've seen this one before. This was a little dirty, but a little wash up and paint seems to be pretty clear and good on it. So, oh, that is good. Well, we got a couple left, a couple no names, and might be one more regular. Some grime on the side here. This Hummer, and see if we can. 
clean it up a little bit. Yeah, that seemed to work a little bit. Boy, oh boy. Here's that Mickey D's. It's pretty trashed. Look at that. We're going to probably scrub Ronnie's face right off. Because the paint's all chippy, dippy, dippy, dee. Got the old thumbs up on the back there. This one's like polishing an old uh, dumpski, you know what I mean. Luckily we found some in that last garage sale. Same car, better condition. But like these, you know what, when I find a barn find, when, it, when it's literally just stored away, ready to be, you know, bulldozed under with all the rest. It's kind of cool to save the cars, and if you can save a couple, that's great. If, you know, they're beyond repair, that's okay, too. Again, maybe it goes into a parts bin where you refurbish and make your custom post-apocalypse vehicles and stuff. that got any better or worse <laughs> this one was really rough but it's clean now so it's a clean rough now we got these little no names we're just dirty so we'll scrub the dirt off them so funny looking look at that thing <laughs> cracks me up some are a little grimy I'm gonna scrub this, but this one's really grimy. I'll scrub that one over the water bin and do it last so whatever grimy stuff is in there will stay in the... Oh, now this one's split open. See that? <laughs> That's okay. There you got it. I'm sure some of these other ones could use a scrub, but I'll do that at another time. Oh, let me just scrub this over here off camera. Just look at all those beauties as I'm scrubbing away over here. Yeah, this one is beyond control, I think. That paint is something's wrong with it. I don't know what it is, but it's just got like grossness on it and then we got a bolt so that's pretty good get all the water out of that and look how much dirt is in our water pretty gross that was all on these cars so I'm looking to see if there's any other cars that I want to wash right now. Or maybe this Hudson Hornet. Now it does have batteries or something in there. So I might wash him a different way. Anyways, <laughs> that is our barn find. What do you think? Wash, no wash, jump into the tub, or no jump into the tub? Now we found some cool stuff, cool figures, cool cars, and I'm telling you, tell your friends to subscribe, you subscribe, and watch your videos. If you're a car person, if not, that's okay, you won't be watching. Only car people love this stuff. Oh, I'm glad to be part of the car loving community, and the toy car community love and community so rock on now we did have one mickey d so 
Till next time, my friends. Ah, oh, these are some very fun cars. I would love to know which one your favorite was. And literally, we found these all spread out all over a barn. I got a couple other things I'm going to wash. And we will see you on the flip-flop on the orange jumping black top. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.